Hello everyone, my name is Xiu Long Chen, and welcome to my abstract presentation of my paper, Groovely Secure Reflection Ciphers. So this is a joint work with Tim Bannon. Cryptographers have long been fascinated by the self-inverse property of the encryption devices. The example is Enigma Roto machine where the encryption and the decryption operations are identical. This is enabled by the middle reflector, which makes the encryption device much more compact. This self-inverse property can also be found in the modern ciphers. For example, the cipher sets based on the Python network. A famous example is the desk block cipher. So a special property of the FISO ciphers is that decryption is always possible, which is equal to encryption using block keys in the reverse order. This property makes the fact that the underlying bot functions do not need to be inferred for anymore, which gives us much more flexibility when we need to choose those front functions. Now, Another property is that the input stream is not um, updated, not the entire input stream is updated every round. So we can see from the slide only a part of the input stream is updated using the round function. The generic security of the FISO ciphers is, uh, is first started by Ruby and Raga in 1985. Another class of um, another important class of um, the cybers is designed using the so-called T alternating cyber structure. The famous example is the AS block cipher. Here the authors were inspired by Shannon's idea. And the T alternating cybers have the property that they usually require less round than the price cybers. For example, there's only 10 rounds needed for 128-bit key to AES, while 16 rounds are needed for the desk box cipher. Another property is fast diffusion, since the entire bit stream is updated every round. Now, the limitation of the key alternating ciphers is that um, they do not have self increase property like the FISO ciphers. The generic security of the key alternating ciphers was first started by Ibn Mansour in 1991 for the single round case and by Bogdan Lofeto in 2012 for the multiple round case. Now, as mentioned before, both the FISO ciphers and the key alternating ciphers have their own advantage and their limitations. The question now is whether we can combine those two ideas and it's a new design structure such that it's similar to the key alternating side structure, such that um, less fronts are needed to design a secure cyber while still obtaining the self inverse property of the FISO ciphers. The answer is given by both of them in 2012, where they introduced a Prince reflection cipher. Um, the cipher is based on the um, following structure, which which is shown on the slide. We call this design structure the key alternating reflection cipher structure. So ciphers based on this structure have the, the following reflection property, namely decryption is always equal to encryption using related keys. Because of this special property, the reflection ciphers are in particular suitable for low latency, low error use case. However, until now, there's no study performed on the generic security of the reflection ciphers. Therefore, in this work, we um, initialize for the first time the, generic, the study of the generic security of the key alternating reflection ciphers. Based on the results, we, um, we used um, our results to design a new keylet extender that can be used for practical reflection cycles such as Prince, Mantis, and more. The full version of this presentation can be found in Crypto 2022. Thank you for your attention.